All right, everyone, just a quick video with two quick tips. Uh, the first is, some people ask, what does Bluefin CLI do? And you do you just Bluefin CLI? And then you get a little selector here. You can either turn it on or turn it off. You can always undo what you're about to do. Um, but I'm a big fan of console bling, terminal bling. You know, I like to use whatever old Unix tools be even rewritten in Rust, like I want to be the guy that uses that. So, um, however, I, I don't want to overdo it and it's, it should be something that's opt-in, right? Um, so we uh, we put together this um, convenience uh, shortcut for you to kind of blingify your terminal. So it installs a bunch of stuff that I'm going to list over here. But while that's going, I'm going to show you another one. Well, that is installing and that's grabbing all the latest versions from um, from Homegrew on, on GitHub. So you're getting the latest stuff. It's, um, uh, and of course we automate that, uh, the updates for you, uh, in the background during a maintenance window. So you always have the latest version of all that stuff. Uh, the other one I want to show you today is, uh, you just rebase helper, which gives you a quick way to rebase between different versions of Bluefin and Aurora. So if you want to change to stable, uh, from latest and so on. You can choose this here. Uh, kind of very handy. But the big one here is date. You hit enter. And this will take a minute because what it's doing is actually uh, reaching out uh, to GitHub and getting all the tags. Um, and you can pick a specific day that you want to go back to. So like if you hit enter here, it's like it'll rebase you to that thing. And, and that's pretty awesome. Actually, this is a VM. Let's do it. Uh, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's rebase to uh, one a few days ago. Um, but I'm going to need to close this terminal, so you'll figure it out. Um, so let me go ahead and cancel out of that. Uh, this is installed, so I'm going to go uh, over some of the programs for kids. Zoxide is pretty cool. It's like a CD replacement, except when you type the command Z and then a thing, it takes you inside of a tree based on you know how much you use it. Um, YQ for parsing, UGREP, RIPGREP. Uh, the GitHub and GitLab uh, CLI tools uh, we install in there for you. FD for find. EZA, which is the fancy LS. So the way that works is um, we kind of bind that to LS for you. So when you do LL, you get the cool, you get the cool uh, rainbow bling. Um, so as you see here, I relaunch my terminal and now I have the terminal bling. And then I have Optoween, which is one of my favorite tools here. Uh, this is on a fresh install, but what this is, is it takes all of your history, puts it in a SQL, SQL file, and then you can do like fuzzy search. You can do per host search. Um, you can host your own sync server. So if you wanted to sync all your history in between your nodes, you can do that. Um, and the Optoween project itself uh, runs a sync service for you that's like encrypted and secure, but you can check that out at the website. Love this one. I get a sponsor this one. I, I think that Ellie's doing a great job and one of my favorite Unix tools. So, you know, the goal the goal with this was, um, you know, I, I want to find out what the cool kids are using, but, you know, I don't want to sit there and do all that stuff by hand. I got I got better things to do. Somebody just tell me what to do. Um, and you can always close it and go back to the stock terminal. So that's a quickie for today. Um, have a good one. We'll talk to you all later.